Hi right, everybody, this is Angelo Quinones and before I give my perfect example because of things that I've been watching on YouTube, um, I'm not in my usual spot, my palm tree spot. I'm right at the right at the entrance of our um, you know our path over here. So I, because of the baby, you know, for the baby. Hello. Because of the baby, you know, just in case she gets a seizure, then I'm right close by. If I if, if they tell me that she's having a seizure. And I'm like a 10 minute walk away. That's that's just you know, so I'm not gonna do that. It's just gonna be right over here, right right here, right right at the corner, you know. So I mean, you know, that's just the deal. So before I talk about before I talk about Obed and his first of all his stupidity. And, and his stupidity and his sin, open rebellion against God. And XJW, who's acting like a JW actually right now, no regards to God, no regards to God's people, no regards to the scripture. I mean, he's acting the same way. So he might as well have stayed at the tower and do whatever the hell he wanted to do. You understand what I'm saying? Let me preface this conversation, okay? The exposing of Ovid Vargas and his, you know, his nonchalant attitude to God, the scriptures, his, his people, and God, God's people, the church. I mean, everything, you know, anything, anything that's moral. The cavalier, lazy, sinful attitude that Obed Vargas has. You know what I'm saying? Wanting to be with somebody in the Philippines and knowing she's an open, and she's an op open uh, a prostitute. That's all. I mean, knowing that she wants to do, that's what she is. You know what I'm saying? That's what she, you know, that's what Adeline is. Annalene is an open prostitute here in, in Don Pedro. He's an open, dirty, sinful, rebellious creature. A down in the mud, in the mire, in the clay, rebel without a cause. You know what I'm saying? Hello. Wow. <laughs> so that's just the deal. Look at that. I mean, she's practically carrying a whole tree. I was watching the destructions of uh, the space shuttles uh, Challenger and uh, Columbia. Challenger went up and was destroyed about like 73 seconds into the flight. And then even though Columbia made it to, you know, made it to space, you know, past the launch and made it to space and, and, and entered, actually okay, to tell you the honest and goodness truth. I mean, they went through Africa, they went back to California. They passed to California. They, they still were on the trajectory, the right trajectory. They didn't go down to California. They're going to Texas. It's just that they, it was destroyed on the way to, you know, they, they were going to touch down in Florida and, and was, was destroyed uh, little by little on, on the way and didn't make it. I mean, just, I think the central uh, Texas was when they went down, whatever the case may be. In both situations, okay, NASA was warned not to fly. National Aer Aeronautics Space Administration. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Born around 1961. They were told not to fly by the designers. The Challenger was was told not to fly. Was advised not to fly by the engineers of the SRBs, the solid rocket boosters that, that help, um, you know, the space shuttle, um, you know, uh, uh, lift off. Two solid rocket boosters, one rocket on each side of the external tank, and you know the deal, okay? They recommended that the shuttle not go up in freezing temperatures. They recommended that it go only up at around 53 degrees Fahrenheit. It didn't. They didn't listen to them, and you know what happened to the Challenger? Okay, all right. I'm not gonna go into the O-rings and all the, and all this mumble jumbo. I'm not gonna get into that, all that stuff. The Challenger was destroyed because NASA was pressed on getting the launch of that day. They already canceled um, the, the previous day, the 27th. So they were pressed. No excuse. Seven people died because they didn't listen. Now jump over from 1986 all the way to uh, 2003, where uh, something else happened. A piece of foam, a two, maybe one by two or whatever the case may be, fell off of the, uh, at liftoff, fell off of the external tank, hitting the left wing of the orbiter of the space shuttle, uh, 
Columbia this time and took a chunk off of the tiles from the from the left wing. Critical for re-entry are those tiles. 25,000 tiles the Space Shuttle has and you know the deal. You need almost every single one. Especially the ones around the wing area and the wing area on the bottom of the Space Shuttle is critical to have every single tile. One tile could destroy the Space Shuttle because you know the the, the, the skeleton of the uh, the body of the shuttle is made of aluminum, okay, and it will melt at, at 300 degrees. Well, re-entry, you, you experience temperatures that go up to 2,500 uh, 2, and 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It was costly. Uh, they were recommended to, 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 to take pictures of the wing to see the extent of damage. They didn't do it. Also, they could have sent another space shuttle that was ready to be launched, okay, soon. And so the, the space shuttle passengers on Columbia could have easily exited and go to a, a second space shuttle and would have been saved that way. But you know what happened? They re-entered and um, the tiles were further damaged around that area. The aluminum structure lost its integrity and then the space shuttle broke up around Texas. And seven people died again. 14 people died needlessly because they didn't listen. Let's jump to Obert Vargas. Obert Vargas does, wants to do whatever the hell he wants to do. He wants to live in open sin. He wants to live in open rebellion against God. And so I want to say, that's just Obert Vargas. What's going on with Obert Vargas now? Obert Vargas doesn't give two hoots in hell what anybody says. He wants to do, you know, he... He's not officially, and he's not even officially separated. He's not even officially divorced and he's speaking to somebody else. Not respecting his marriage to Nelsie Vargas. You know, someone, they're still married. You're not supposed to be talking to anybody while you're married. That's adultery. He doesn't care. Obey Vargas is the kind of person that he doesn't listen. He's immature. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about the Bible. He doesn't care about God. He doesn't care about God's people. He doesn't care about the church. What he cares about is having Christianity as some sort of novelty that outshined, uh, outshun, okay, his previous cult activities, okay, the Watchtower and Bible Tract Society, okay. Okay, having no power of the Holy Spirit whatsoever, that's why he was beaten by Mark from Missouri, and he'll still get beaten and flattened in the main camp, okay? Against Mark right now. He says to me, "Oh well, you know, Annaline. I mean, she she does she does things that that Nelsie never did before. Are you kidding me? You're telling me that you had a wife for 25 years and Annaline, that 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 snitch comes a witch comes along and talks to you on the phone for about a month and a half, and you're, you're telling me that she does things that Nelsie never did before." Nelsie never cook and clean for you? Nelsie never said I love you? Never? You're a liar. You're a liar. Oh, he's such a, a brat and a kid. Obed is like a child in a man's body. He says, well, Annaline comes along, Angela. He cries. He cries for this girl. He doesn't even know this girl, and he cries for her. Can you believe that? At the table, Annaline was sitting right to my left. I was sitting obviously to her right, right? And then Obed is talking on the phone, my phone, via my phone, on the kitchen table. And, and he cries. And then he cries the second time when Andrea says to me, record it, that she's still seeing a boyfriend. In other words, you understand what I'm saying? She, he, she, you know, we have reason to believe, okay? We have reason to believe that, you know, Annaline is still having sex with Michael, still having sex with uh, 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 Melvin, and st still having sex with people all over the place, uh, Don Pedro, for money. That's why that's just the deal. That's what, that's what it is. Hello. Is that what I'm saying? As that tricycle goes down, and so is Obed Vargas going down even worse. And so-called Christian life. I mean, he has no Christian life. Be careful of ex Jehovah's Witnesses. Some of them are very problematic. Be careful with them. Augusta Anastasio. I said that he, she should, she should share. 
a little bit more of his wealth to the kids here in, 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 in the Philippines. And he got mad and upset and stuff like that. Uh, Julian Watson also flew the coop. I mean, you know, I don't know what happened to him. I mean, these people that come out of the tower sometimes are worse off than, you know, than what they were previously because, you know, you know, Jew says it would have been better. I mean, or Peter says it would have been better that, that, that they, they've not known the truth. It, it would have been better that it would have been better for you if you would have stayed at JW. But that's not for me to decide. Hello. That's for not for me to decide uh, um, whether he goes to heaven or hell. That's not my job. My job is to give you the truth. And Obed Vargas is living in open sin. Okay? He wants, his, he wants his sex and eat it too. That's what he wants. He wants a Christianity on the side, but then he wants his sex. He's planning to come here and have sex with Annalene for four days. Because you only could be here for four days. So he knows that Annalene, who's a prostitute over here, okay? Everybody knows it. Everybody knows she's a gold digger. Everybody knows she has loans to pay. You know, everybody knows. You understand what I'm saying? Hello. Hi. You see, everybody knows that she got these, these outstanding, you know, uh, 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 loans and stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, everybody knows it. And what she's doing is that, you know, anybody that comes online, anybody, hello. Oh, my God, this guy's carrying a tree, for God's sakes. Goodness gracious. Anybody who she sees online, she automatically befriends so that way she can milk the guy for money. And Obed is so stupid, he knows that to be true, but he wants his sex. That's what he wants. Out, out of wedlock, by the way. You know what I mean? He wants to come here this year and sleep with Annalene. That's open rebellion. And then he wants to fly back home. So, Obed hasn't had sex in one year. So he's desperate. I mean, you know, it's just he can't contain. You understand what I'm saying? So what he wants to do is have sex with the first bitch that he sees. Excuse my language. I'm just saying, because that's what Annalie is. And Annalie, Annalie is. She's a dog. She's a, she's a bitch. I'm just saying. I don't know how what other word I can give you that's strong enough to describe Annalie here in Don Pedro. She is a bitch. You know, people walking here. She's a puta de gracia. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what she is. Hello. It's like Batman or something like that. <laughs> like, either Batgirl or Batman. I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> Had a towel on his head, you know. But, so, this is the deal. Open Vargas and Nelsie got into a fight. Hello. What's up, man? They got into a fight, they got into an argument, and they broke ways. Uh, one of the daughters of Obed left. That was the last daughter that left. He has two daughters, you know what I'm saying? And so she left. Or, you know, I mean, is, is there was a reason why the two daughters don't want to speak to Obed. Nelsie broke off with him. I broke off, 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 off with him. And my wife is upset at him. Is this is the reason why? And Reza should know better than to say when she fights with me, oh, well, you know, you don't speak to Mark, you don't speak to Obed, you don't speak to so-and-so. Yeah, well, I mean, because they're acting the way they are. Now you're mad at him, and then you bitch and want to complain when I don't speak to Obed. Now you know why I don't speak to Obed Vargas. Now you know why he's not dependable. One day he, um, <clears throat> one day Obed, and me had an appointment to study the Bible on, I think it was on a Saturday. We were supposed to study the Bible, let's say that was a long time ago, so I can't remember exactly. I think maybe, maybe at around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, a reasonable time, you understand what I'm saying? California time is different from New York, three hours difference. Maybe it was at 3 or, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what time, you know. It was like that, it was a reasonable time for him and for me, you understand what I'm saying? So he leaves me hanging the whole day. He doesn't call, he doesn't text. He doesn't give me any sort of communication letting me know that he cannot make it. Or he doesn't want to make it. Okay? So I'm waiting by my books and by my phone for the dude for about 
five hours or six hours or whatever, seven hours. And then he calls around like, you know, five o'clock or seven o'clock in my evening, New York time. Then he tells me, I'm sorry, I couldn't make it. No, you were supposed to call me, all right, before you went to the supermarket with, with Nelsie and, and cancel it like a decent human being, like a decent brother in the Lord. No, he left me hanging the whole day. Totally irresponsible guy, very childish guy, and that's why, you know, one of the reasons why Nelsie broke off. Now, this is another hypocritical thing, another thing. He was upset with Nelsie, his former wife, that we, we, he's still married to, by the way. And I'm not supposed to talk to nobody else, that's adultery, I'm just saying. The facts are the facts. And, if, and God said, if you even think or look upon a woman to lust after her in your heart, you have committed already adultery in your heart. So you don't have to sleep with Annalene to commit adultery. You know that, right, uh, Obed Vargas? You think you're smarter than anybody else, and you're not. Mark wax the floor with your rear end in a debate. Mar Jehovah's Witness absolutely murdered, destroyed, uh, uh, annihilated Obed Vargas. And no power of the Holy Spirit at all. You know? Hello. So, uh, I think that's Batman over there. That's the thing, you know? <laughs> uh, going off, he's just waiting over there. So, you know, he, 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 he basically has no, 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 no power. At all, at all, of, of, of the Holy Spirit. All right, man. Take care. I mean, he has no power at all. He has no power. Ah, listen. Just because you know a little bit of Greek, a little lexical word, it doesn't make you a Christian, man. When the rubber beats the road, everybody's going to know if you're a Christian or not by the decisions you make like this now Owen Vargas didn't even tell his pastor he didn't even tell his pastor what's he involved in he goes to church he walks about no nah, I don't know maybe two minutes to church he goes to church like the little good boy that he is right he so he's a so he's he's dressed in wool outside he looks like a nice sheep outside but inside he's a hungry wolf who can't wait to have sex with Annalene this year? Can't wait to have, devour her, you know what I'm saying. But inwardly, they're a raven, the ravening wolves. It's just a deal. Annalene, that's Anna, Annalene Vargas, I was going to say. <laughs> Obed Vargas. Who can't wait to pull the panties down to Annalene in the Philippines. Can't wait to pull her panties down, aren't you, Obed? He can't wait. Because he can't contain... He he didn't have he hasn't have he hasn't had sex in, in one year. So the first dog that he sees online, he has to go sleep with. You know, unlike me, I did it the right way. I spoke to I spoke to Reason for almost a year before I came over here. Not a month, you know, already crying and stuff like that, and whining and, and complaining and stuff like that. Nobody told me that 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 Reason was was sleeping with somebody. I wouldn't even have came. Multitude of people are telling Obed Vargas that that Annalene is already having sex with multiple people here, and, and he doesn't care. He doesn't care what the scriptures, what the scriptures are saying to him, right up in his face, right up in his nose. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe he should change his glasses. I mean, maybe that's maybe maybe he needs a new pair of glasses or something. Or maybe the fall from the ladder, you know, hurt hurt his knee too too hard and hit his head or something like that when he fell off the ladder. You know what I'm saying? When he fell off the ladder, you know, maybe he knocked something on his head or something like that. I don't know what it was, you know. You know what I mean? Good luck with the lawsuit, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Good luck. You should be suing yourself right now. You know what I'm saying? You should be, you should be suing yourself. You should be suing yourself for adultery and charges. You know what I mean? Nelsie should be suing you. No wonder Nelsie left. And his daughters left. And everybody else left. No wonder. And I. Now, he didn't tell his pastor because he knows what his pastor is going to say. If it was a good thing, why not tell his pastor? He didn't tell his pastor yet. Huh? He didn't tell his Bible study group what he's doing. I said, did you, did you talk to your, the people that you're accountable to, to church, you know, in church? No. Why? Because it's open sin. 
It's open sin what he's doing, what he's attempting to do. He's probably taking communion service. He can't make it up with this chump. And then when I tell him these things, he says, please stop. Yeah, because you don't like the light. The light is too bright for you, you know what I'm saying? You loved the garbage at the tower for so long when it was getting brighter and brighter, you understand what I mean? But now that a true Christian is telling you that you're living in sin, like Paul did to Peter up in his face, you can't take it. So you have to write these little tiny texts, you know, please stop. Please stop, Angelo. I can't take these texts. That's just the deal, you know what I mean? And that's another moto there. There's a lot of motos in Don Pedro. Oh, no, that's a, that's a, what's that, a bicycle? Bicycle. So, uh, Hobby Vargas is a fraud. And he's busy saying that everybody else is a fraud, but he doesn't look at his own. Listen, he doesn't have a wife. There's nothing wrong with this guy. Now, I was going to say that uh, he's living a life of hypocrisy because he was diamond bitching and complaining about Nelsie gambling his, his wife. But they're separated, but his wife anyway. What he's doing is adultery, it is. And so, but the problem is, the girl that he's speaking to gambles also, but illegally. Because I can see you go into a casino and stuff like that. That's legal gambling over there in the United States. If you go into a casino, that's legal. That's, I mean, most likely, those that the casino is going to be legal. But Annalie is doing it illegally here. Then she could get arrested one day if I if I could make a complaint. Me and her, maybe her rear end will cool off in jail for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Because they took a, they, they you know they they reported a family over here just recently to their chagrin of their gambling ways and about five or seven people went to jail i mean you know so that's a little bit hypocritical obit Vargas, that you're whining bitching and complaining about about your ex-wife who's not even your ex-wife yet by the way and then you're talking to annalee who gambles also and uses the dirty money of her lover who had who she takes her panties off you know i'm sorry guys gotta expose it Annalene takes her panties off every single night to Melvin and, and Ovid is a Ovid is a fool. So he doesn't do nothing about that. And she uses the money of Michael to gamble. She shakes her booty for everybody. That's just all there is to it. So so I guess that Ovid is okay with Annalene having sex now, then he coming into the into her life over here in the Philippines for four freaking days, and then he's gonna leave again, and she's gonna drop her panties for for, for Melvin or Miguel again. So that's the kind of life he wants to live, right? She's having sex with other people, multiple people here now, Annalene, multiple people, and then he's gonna come for four freaking days to have sex with her because Melvin doesn't even care that that, that Ovid comes over here. He doesn't care. He said, as long as the money keeps on coming in by, by Obed, that stupid fool, I mean, that's okay. That's okay. Well, I'll put up with that, He'll say, he said, Melvin. He said, as long as Melvin sends you money, I don't care. Because that's, they're so dirt poor here in the Philippines, some people, that they don't care if their lover looks on the internet for another lover and even is involved in sexual activity, either online or, you know, whatever the case may be in, in real life. They don't care. That's a planned thing. As a planting, and this stupid fool is buying into it. Is buying into it. That's that's the problem. That he's not seeing the signs of the space shuttle. He's not seeing the film. He's not seeing the smoke coming out of the solid rocket boosters. That the, the puffs, the, the the nine puffs of smoke, the black smoke that came out. You understand what I'm saying? Only to be only to be covered over by a liquid that made it hard. And so the smoke didn't come gushing out or anything like that, or the flame didn't come gushing. It was supposed to blow up right there. The Challenger was supposed to blow up, blow up in, the, in, the, in the launch pad. But the chemical that the fuel is made of, okay, it has, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a substance that actually worked like a layer protecting the, 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 the space shuttle from blowing up because it, it, it hardened. You know, the problem with, 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 with those O-rings is they didn't expand in the, cold, in the cold temperature. They didn't expand. In the heat, they're, they're going to expand. You understand what I'm saying? But they didn't expand. So it didn't seal properly. It didn't seal properly. You understand what I'm saying? It didn't. And so, that's the deal. 
But the O-rings were there. That problem with the O-rings was there in 1985. There was another close call with that. That challenge, that that space shuttle should have blew up in, in 1985, and there were O-ring problems all over the place. And NASA did very little about it in 1986, and that's why seven people died. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? So they didn't listen. NASA didn't listen. NASA didn't listen. Hey, what's up? NASA, NASA didn't listen, right? You understand what I'm saying? NASA didn't listen, and 14 people are dead. Actually, 17 people died. Viva Mexico! <laughs> Three people died in 1962 or something like that. On, uh, you know, and they were just training in a capsule. It burned. The capsule burned within, and it killed all three. And then, but the other seven. But the other seven. I mean, hello. The other seven. I mean, the other 14 died seven before going to space and seven after coming from space. But they could have done something about it. And Obey refuses to do something about it. Now, I'm not in contact with nobody now about nothing. So maybe he left her. But you know what he said to me? You and Risa being angry at me is pushing me to go back to Annaline. <laughs> you want that? Go ahead. Oh! Because you're mad at me, Angelo and Reese. I can't take it no more. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back to Annalie. What a freaking child this guy is, man. That's why his wife. That's why his wife left his rear end, man. He's alone in the house. And he even said, "Well, I know myself. I can't contain. I know what I'm about to do." You see? He knows that he's about to sit over there in California. So instead of sitting in California, he wants to sit over here. So what's the big difference? But that's Obed Vargas. It's raining now, so I have to go. Obibaga has no regard to God. He likes to cry a lot. Obibaga is a crier. He's not a doer of the word. He's a crier and a liar. You know what I'm saying? That's what he is. And no wonder Nelsie left him and maybe she could get somebody good. You know what I mean? Somebody who's really studying the Bible. Somebody who's patient with her. And stuff like somebody that really loves her. Did you ever say I love you to Nelsie? You come bitching one in and complain about Nelsie not saying I love you to you. And then, and then, and then he has the goal to say that Annaline in one freaking month did more than Nelsie ever did in 25 years. You gotta be, you gotta be an idiot though, man. I'm just saying you gotta be a fool. You gotta be a special fool to say something stupid like that. All right, guys, I gotta go because it's raining, all right? And I don't want to get the, the, the phone wet. You understand what I'm saying? But this idea that that you cry. Because, oh, uh, because Annalene blocked him and stuff like that. And then he, he's, he's so freaking desperate, he can't get nobody. Why? I know he's short and pudgy. I know he's kind of bald, but still, he can see good. At least I have an excuse. I can't see somebody who's, who's actually winking at me in the street or on the bus or on the train. And then I could get in discussion with confidence saying, well, she's winking at me. I would have been married when I was 20 years old, if I, if I could say I would have had like 10 kids by now. You know how many women probably winked at me outside in the street, in a, in a, in a bus, or in a, ta uh, in a train, or whatever the case may be, even on a plane? And I, I couldn't wink back, back because I, and I didn't know that she was winking at me. Open Vargas can't get nobody. He can't get nobody? Why? Everybody gets tired of the Obed act, man. Everybody gets tired of it. I'm tired of it. Reza's tired of it. And, you know, the deal is, and then he's looking at my wife, like, with interest. He's looking at, he's looking at my wife with interest. I'm telling you right now, he is. But he can't have my wife. Too bad. Get your own wife. You got your own wife. You should have done, you struck out with your first wife. First of all, you struck out because you're a freaking Padre fan. They haven't won anything at, at all. No championships. That's just the deal. Hello. Hi. And so... So he strikes out with his baseball team. So if he can't even pick a big, good baseball team, you know, how do you expect Obey Barker to pick a good girl? You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, look at these people right here. Hello to the, the Philippines. You know what I mean? That's just a deal. So this guy, Obey Barker, I mean, he wants to have sex so badly. I mean, he's like a, it's, he's like, I'm saying, he's acting like a demon with no mouth. He's like, a, he's like, a, he's acting like, with, like somebody 
who has this big giant thirst but has no mouth? Who has this big giant hunger but has no mouth? So Obi Vargas is acting like somebody, and he's not acting, he's doing it. He's, he, he, he wants to have sex so badly, probably tired of having sex with himself, you understand what I'm saying, in his bed. But he's tired of that scene, so he wants to, the first bitch that he sees online. You understand what I mean? That's Obi Vargas. So he's going to come for four freaking days. <laughs> and then... I know that Annalene is sleeping with some people now, so when Obed, all that sex is going to stop, then he's going to hop into Annalene's bed for four freaking days, and then he has to go back to the United States, the, the, you know, then, then after he's in America, then she's going to sleep with Melvin and, and, and Michael and everybody else again, because she's a freaking prostitute. And then he says, my girl. Well, first of all, she's taking off her panties for some other people, not you. Oh, your girl, that's not your girl. She's using your rear end for money. And, and, and Obed Vargas is just, it's just, it's, that's the way he is. Obed Vargas, Obed Vargas is living in rebellion against the God who called him. And then he cries. He cries, he's a crier. He's not a doer of the word. He's a crier over the word. You understand know what I'm saying? Then when he sins, he cries. It's good to cry. But it's good to obey God, even though it causes your death. You understand know what I'm saying? And he wants to copy Angelo. Oh, Angelo got a good wife. Oh, you're lucky, Angelo. I mean, you know, you got a good wife. Yeah, I'm not lucky, man. I obeyed God. I obeyed the prophecy that was done. There was a prophecy done about this. Okay, and, and when I was seven, around seven years old, there was a prophecy of me getting married late in my life. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, what's that? It's my, my former truck? What's that? My God. <laughs> maybe Obed can work, work in the truck over there, you know? Yeah, maybe he can do, maybe he wants a house over here. He wants a house. So he wants everything that I have, you know. He lost his house. He lost two homes, okay, in California. He lost that, okay? He doesn't have a house anymore. He's renting now. You understand what I mean? And he lost his wife and he lost his daughters. His daughters don't want nothing to do with Obed Vargas. Man, I wonder why. Huh? I wonder why, Obed, nobody wants to talk to you. I wonder why you don't have a wife. Oh, Annalene says she loves me, oh, and I, I never had that before with Nelsie Vargas. And Nelsie never said she loved me, oh my God, so I'm supposed to feel sorry for you? Never, no, no that's why you have to, uh, she wasn't, Nelsie wasn't saying I love you when she was having sex with you? Well, there's something wrong with you, she don't say I love you, man, I mean, there's something wrong with you, man. I'm just saying she's having sex with you so many times, she had, she had two kids through you. And then, and, then, and then you mean to tell me she never she never even said I love you one time? You freaking liar, man. You just want your sin. You want your sin because you're tired of sinning in your apartment. And you want to come here and sin some more. But you want to do it with somebody. That's what you want to do it with. You know what I mean? Hey, he's tired of sinning by himself, I'll tell you that. He wants to sin with someone. You know... I don't know who of the two can find somebody better. If Annalene can find somebody better than Obed, or Obed can find somebody better than Annalene. This is Angelo Quinones. Take care, guys. I gotta go. Because it, it's gonna rain here. Uh, it's gonna absolutely pour. But I expose Obed Vargas, man. Obed Vargas, he doesn't care about God, man. If he cared about God, he would listen to the advice that everybody's giving him. And even, even Andrea said, Andrea, and you know kids don't lie like that. You know, a kid like six years old or five years old, I mean, you know, they, they, they don't lie, though. You understand know what I'm saying? And so when I asked her, I asked her, is, uh, is, uh, you know, I asked her, is, is Annalene still seeing Melvin? Is Annalene still seeing Melvin? She said, yeah. And then he cries on the phone. Oh, didn't you know that already? Didn't you believe me and, and Ariza? I'm just saying, you, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't believe it already? That, oh, yeah, then he starts to cry. And then, you know, Annalene was laughing at his rear end when he was crying in front of me and Annalene. He, she was chuckling because, you know, she's a user. She just wants to use him for money. But 
what's the deal, man? Hi, hi. So, I mean, not everybody's Angelo Quinones, man. Not everybody could do what I did. You know, I mean, even if he sleeps with Annalene, I mean, he's still not going to be with a woman like, like Riza. I mean, he's just cheapening himself, you know what I'm saying? And not everybody is built to, to come here to the Philippines and stuff like that. He can't anyway. He can't live here. His, he gets his pension in 15 freaking years. I'm just saying. You're not going to come here and live anytime soon. I mean, live. I mean, live. I mean, you know, I mean, live, dwell here. You're not gonna, he can't do it. He can make a house all he wants, but 15 years is when he gets his pension. He can't be here. At that time, you know how many people she's going to be sleeping with? Good luck with that. Take care, guys.